Today, we're going to walk you through how to get the boundary files off of the JD Operations Center and into an X35. So on your John Deere Operations Center, your main screen here under the map, we're going to go down to the fields icon. We're going to click on three lines with the three check marks, just allows you to select multiple fields at once. Uh, for this case, we're going to export out the corner piece and south of owls. So we're going to come up and we're going to look at this button here. This arrow is the export. So we'll click on that. So we'll like to use a shape file. We'll click on boundary. We'll leave it on individual files for each selected field. Click next. I don't have to change anything here. We can hit export. So what the JD Operation Center is doing is just preparing these files for us. So we can either click on go to files, but I'll show you where they are in case you, in case you didn't know. Uh, they're under more and then files. So see, it might take a few minutes, depending on how many fields you have, uh, how large they are uh, before this uh, gets populated. So you can wait, uh, you can try refreshing every now and then. And you'll see it pops up here. So we're gonna highlight it. So I'm gonna click download. And we're going to download it to your computer. So when it downloads, it's going to be in a zip file. Uh, so it'll be boundaries. And you'll see I, I, I exported two fields, but you see there's 10 files. Uh, so they are shape files. Uh, typically, there's only three, but in this case, they, they do send five. Uh, they're labeled, uh, five of them are labeled the same field, and the other five the same field. So you can see there's two fields in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to extract them just onto your computer somewhere. I have a folder already just called demo. So I'm going to select that folder and I'm going to extract them into there. See the file pops up uh, and it's the same files in there. So next thing you want to do is get a USB stick plugged in. I have one here. I'll just open it up over next to it. This is where the X35 and X30, in that case, needs a certain hierarchy of files. So the first file we're going to build in our USB stick is called clients. That's going to be the same for everybody. Click into it, create a new folder, and now you're going to come up with a client name. In this case, we'll use Borgo. The next file you'll need to have is a farm name. So there could be some uh, farmers out there with multiple farm names, but in our case, and in the case of many, is just one another farm name. So Borgo, Borgo Farm, and now we need the fields. So I had corner piece, and we're going to create another folder, but on the same level. Oops, one too many. This one was south of vowels. So now in each one of these fields, we have to go into it, create another folder called boundaries. Click into that folder. And now we're gonna drag across the shape files for that, for those, for that particular field. So in this case, it's the corner piece. So I'm gonna select these five, I'm actually going to cut them. And then I'm going to paste them in here. We'll go back to our other field, which we had was south of owls. New folder again, will be called boundaries. And this has to be spelled correctly for the X35 to recognize it. And we'll transfer in these other five files. There you have it. We have the boundaries in here now. And we've got that hierarchy of files. So clients, the client name, farm name, and then your fields, boundaries folder, 
and that's where your shape files are. So now what we're going to do is I'll pull up the X35 monitor here. I'm taking that USB stick out of the computer. We're gonna to go to inventory manager on our X35. So it looks something like this. It'll probably be a small view over here of your navigation screen. Now I'm plugging the USB stick into the X35. What you see, should see are these buttons will go from gray and they'll be, have some color. So the one in particular we're looking at is this USB to hard drive. So we click on this, copy from USB, all inventory items, click overwrite. Now you see there's 10 files copied. Click okay. And you'll see that client, that Borgo client has now popped up. So now we have all of those fields with the boundaries there already. What we can do to ensure, and it really depends on where your last GPS location was on your X35. But if I go into my fields, so if I select a field under that Borgo, so I made that name and then I made the Borgo farm name and I go to corner piece, hit the check mark, you can see that that boundary popped up. And the X35 actually recognized where the, that was the south of Alice field there too. So that's how you structure your files uh, with the boundaries and how to pull the boundaries out of uh, the John Deere Operation Center.